Elden Ring just popped a patch prior to release and it actually makes it worse. Stick around for the deets. Let's begin to talk a little bit about the industry and some of the changes we see in Elden Ring after this patch. Wait for the day one patch. That'll fix everything. Sure, not likely. Let's talk about Elden Ring. Like a lot of games, Elden Ring had a patch that was available for us to play and experience and enjoy, and there were some issues with the game in that version. And of course, you're always informed that a later patch may end up coming forward. There's two things in gaming coverage that I've felt are pretty assured. They usually do happen, and the information is usually very clear. And other than one or two caveats, it's always occurred. That if an embargo falls on a particular day, everyone will have the same version, unless code is laid on a PC or console version. But if two people are looking at the console version, they will both have the same code. And that's always explained to you up front. It's usually within the NDAs and even the PR. Aside from one or two situations, unfortunately, that have happened in these last years. And number two, later patches will attempt to fix situations. In fact, most of the time, reviewers have a day one patch, not always, but many times, and we're given access to do that patch and test it, alerting you with a hefty list of fixes that might be coming. Now, I should have a caveat to this for just a second. I rarely believe that. Sure, patches do fix things, but they can also break things or fix four things and not the one thing that you wanted. Enter Elden Ring. While reviewing Elden Ring, there were rumors of some magical patch may be coming. You'd hear through the grapevine. I can't discuss what's in an NDA. I will never break an NDA. I can discuss what's not in an NDA, and it's usually admitting that some patch exists somewhere else. Any mentions of other patches or magic? Stress to make sure, in fact, that everyone is patched up to the same versions. I think the gaming industry has done a pretty good job with this. The game was playable, but as I said in my review, it was framing at times. It had stutter you could noticeably see, as well as pop in and some errors on the shadows. It didn't give the performance I would have liked, but I was playing it and it felt playable, and perhaps those with variable sync monitors, TVs, and that sort of thing would benefit from it. Enter patch 1-2. While doing the walk in the walk, the patch news hit that there was a leap. 1.2 was coming out. Now, everybody else reviewed on 1.1. 1.2 has made the game considerably worse. So much so that I made sure I still had the ability to use the old patch version and play it to see. In fact, I was playing the old patch version when the alert came up that a patch was available. More stutters. So I re-verified my files. It did nothing. Reinstalled did nothing. Moving the game to another location did nothing. Those happen to be the steps I do when the original version I'm reviewing actually comes to me as well to always see what it tests. Storage, RAM, video card, CPU, what have you. Unfortunately, the game hitches now more often than it did. The frame rate hits are a little bit less, but more consistently low. And strangely enough, sometimes long pauses in the game. This is checked all the way down to 720p, all the way up to 4K, with the settings switched every which way. On a 1080 Ti, 2080 Ti, and a 3080, these stutters appear. Different SSDs, same thing. Different NVMEs, same exact thing. I do feel it's my job to report to you whatever I can about a game, no matter what. And usually patches are something that people say. They're like, oh, a patch will come and it'll fix everything. This patch has not. And checking now, I can say that while the game is still fully playable, there are a number of caveats, which means I'm going to be putting an addendum on my review, pointing the review to this video to make sure that people know about those other caveats. And I sure hope other people do as well. The issues occurred on all three of my setups. And while the headway is still there, even though the game is locked at 60 for your video card to take up any of the brunt, if you're running something like a 3080, those stutters still do occur even in those systems. Even dropping the 64 gig 3080 machine down to 1080p, i7 at 4.9, it still popped up. And it's going to make me very interested to see how the consoles run on this patch. Do they run worse or do they run better? Elden Ring, it's a phenomenal game, everybody. One of a kind in many ways. It does things that I've always wanted in games and I enjoyed it. However, as with Cyberpunk and other titles before it, I'm not in that game. I'm not going to do it. If a game has an issue, I refuse to be a part of this kind of crap. I have no clue what's going on. And if it's just a patch that actually popped out right at the end and made things worse, that's fine. I don't know if other people were playing with this patch or not. I just know the one that I had. I'm not mad. I'm not disappointed. I'm simply reporting to you the facts that you will be getting on launch day. And yeah, people are going to ask, am I still doing the walk in the walk? Of course, the world building in this game, I enjoy immensely. There's so many different parts I want to talk about it. And I was recording that while this patch actually came up and became available. 
And I'm sure they'll continue to attempt to try to patch it. We'll just have to see if that actually works. Elden Ring has some amazing stuff, but this is also amazingly bad news. You don't want to these kind of things to actually occur. And the fact that nobody knows what version's coming out and who has what version and what patch, at least for me, not being contacted on it, I can only tell you what I had. And it sounds like everybody else that I can find had the same version I did. And so to get this new version and now see these issues is a bit worrisome. We'll have to see if that continues with people's retail versions. So also, I do want to reiterate, and I would never say this if it wasn't true. I think for the most part, this is all actually handled fairly transparently. People are usually given the information that they need to continue forth and show the game and the light that it requires. And the expectations for everybody are somewhat the same. Now, there's issues here and there in all different kinds of places, and we certainly do see last minute patches. Again, absolutely nothing wrong with that. However, when you do have information that comes out prior to the game actually coming out, I firmly believe it's sort of my job to make sure that I'm updated on that game. And that's why a lot of times I leave games installed just in case so I can sort of sit around and wait to see if the performance is the same if they randomly just patch it. So that's it for me. Like it, hate it, subscribe, thumbs it up, whatever. My job's here to just tell you what I'm experiencing with a game. Peace out. Subscribe if you can.